please don't tell me Andy is still in love with Gary. Please. Like, what does he need to do so she could get over this clown? Like, what in the entire fuck? This better be a joke. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Brittany Selma, and I'm back with another trailer breakdown to Sisters episode 20. So, we only got two episodes left, y'all. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, let's get into this trailer. Because Andy is going to piss me the shit off if she is still in love with Gary on some real shit. What happened? Leave or I'm calling the police. Wednesday. You want to do this now? You're damn right I want to do it now. There's only two episodes left. You can take the hostility out your voice. Before the sisters season finale. You're still in love with him? You got a call that there was a domestic disturbance. Strap in because the revelations have just begun. The guy at the airport is sleeping with him. Take a look. Wait, what? Tyler Perry's sisters. All new Wednesday. Okay now, so those trailer takes off with Zach and Fatima pulling up at his baby mother's house. The door is wide open. They didn't even have to knock. And the baby mama is like, please leave before I call the police. You know, Zach was only asking, like, what's going on? What's happening? It looked like she got her arm patched up because one of her boyfriends probably beat her ass. But at the end of the day, there's no signs of Michael. I don't see Michael anywhere in that scene. So hopefully he's okay. We'll see. So then it goes to Danny. She finally gets home and there is Preston waiting for her on the couch. And she's like, oh, you really want to do this now? And Preston's like, bitch, I've been waiting for a whole fucking day to talk to you. Yes, I want to do this now. Excuse my legend with the bitch. Like, but she is fucking trying it. She is trying it. Like, bro, if you don't want to be with Preston, leave him the fuck alone. You having this man waiting for you, trying to talk to you, figure things out, and you just dragging it like... Girl, Danny, I thought you was better than this. And then Danny goes, you sh you could take the hostility out your voice. You can take the hostility out your voice? Danny, give it up. Now you sound like a whole nigga. Now you, now you gaslighting the fuck out of Preston and he trying to figure out what the fuck. Like, girl, stop it. Like, were you a narcissist? We're not doing this, Danny. Then it goes to Aiden and Gary outside and I'm guessing this is when Gary is trying to, like, show, like, the evidence that he has on Aiden's new girl. But there goes his new girl right be behind Aiden. Like, hi, Gary. Good morning. Like, she is not trying to make nobody fuck up her plans. She got it down pat. Now, this is the part that got my stomach turning. Because Karen goes to Andy. And it looks like they're at Andy's house. Like, Andy's penthouse. And Karen says to Andy... You still in love with him. We all hope not. She better not be. I be damned. If Andy is still in love with Gary, you got me fucked the fuck the fuck the fuck fucked up. Like, girl, stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> she better say no. She better, she better say, of course not. She better say something in that category because I be damned. After that, it goes back to... Fatima and Zach at his baby mother's apartment. So it's clear that Zach and Fatima did not leave. So the baby mother called the police. Or it was either the next door neighbor who called the police. But either or, the police showed up ready on time. And was like, we got a call about a domestic disturbance. So at this point, something needs to be done. I don't know what, but they need to take this baby away from this this lady this baby mother is awful and to be honest i feel like one of her boyfriends or whatever basically tried to beat on her son and she tried to stop it and he ended up beating on her and that's when the whole like issue happened but we'll see okay now okay now so now i'm looking at this like jason Weaver. who plays brian at the end of the day he's smiling way too hard for me he is smiling way too hard for me at Karen, honey. I, I'm I'm going to need this to stop. Like, you already said that you got a wife and five kids. We need you to make that smile just go down a little bit more. Get your arms down. You look too fucking comfortable. 
is not giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm saying marriage. So please stop. Karen, cut it out. You just try to get any nigga. Karen, cut it out. So I'm guessing they're meeting up t- to discuss what's going on with the shop and what she could see, what she could get from the shop. I don't know. But at the end of the day, he is smiling way too fucking much. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so it goes now to Andy, and it looks like she's on the phone. So we're hoping that she's on the phone with Jordan. And Jordan is Penelope's brother, which is Gary's fiance, who also is pregnant. Yeah, Gary is busy, boy. But at the end of the day, hopefully... Andy gives Jordan another chance. Hopefully she doesn't use the situation to be like, okay, I can't talk to you right now because this situation is blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, girl, that is a good man you just met. You should date him or at least talk to him or get to know him. Do not let Gary stop you from finding true love because Gary is not it. Now, here comes Danny at her job, smiling her ass off with that dude, Tony. My thing is, did you have that conversation with Price then? Because, what the fuck, girl? Like, if you want to be with Tony, just be with him. Because at this point, it's really giving unfaithful, and I don't like it. I don't like it for you, Danny. It don't look well. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, it goes to Price then actually asking Danny the guy at the airport are you sleeping with him and I feel so bad for Preston for him to even act to that because it's like you're giving the vibes that you're fucking this nigga and you don't even know him but hey that's what the kind of shit you do sad face like the fact that you even shown that guy attention when you have a man girl I'm going to need you to cool it down. Like, cool it down. You got to slow it down. Slow it down. Girl, even though she's not sleeping with him, because she's not, but you're making it seem like you are. Like, you're doing the most to make it seem like you feeling this dude more than you feeling Preston. So now it's making Preston feel insecure and feel like you, once again, is choosing somebody over him. We're going to need you, Danny, once again. Get it together. The last scene of the trailer is Gary giving Aiden a envelope of basically what I think is evidence showing that his girlfriend basically is a stripper or a prostitute or whatever. She works for Madam, like whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't think um I don't think Aiden is gonna give a damn. He's ready wrapped up. He's ready in love and Nothing nobody says is going to keep him away from his shorty. And that's facts. I really believe that. Okay, y'all. That was my trailer breakdown for Sisters episode 20. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. We only have two more episodes left and it's going down. And I'll tell y'all this. If Andy is still in love with Carrie, I'm not going to lie. She is wild. But hey. Okay, y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.